by the confines of Manhattan and raised on pizza bagels, soy milk, and a whole lot of love, grew one delightful and interesting individual the world now knows as Lexi. As his life journey progressed, he found Eagle Hill and later on found me, the academic advisor. Since that point, we have been working together closely and built gumball monstrosities, caused havoc in the art world, and helped each other in countless ways throughout these three years. It is my enormous pleasure to introduce Lex V as a 2012 student speaker for this fantastic graduation class. Dr. McDonald, Governor Shumlin, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, family, and friends, of course my fellow graduates. I'd just like to say it's an honor to share my story with you as the student convention speaker of the class of 2012, so I guess I'll jump right in. Right. So, my fellow graduates, here we are, at our graduation, decked out in these long robes, geometric hats topped with, what are these, cat toys? <laughs> I'm told these are the symbols which officially certify us as adults, whatever the heck that word means. What does that word signify, being an adult? Does it mean meeting deadlines, doing your own laundry, and not crying when you get a shot at the doctor's office? Or does it mean much more? I, for one, can't help but ask myself, am I really an adult? Well, I sure wasn't when I entered Eagle Hill. I definitely didn't do my laundry, although that was mostly because my mom feared for the life of our washing machine. Yeah, now I can do my wash without killing the machine. I don't cry at the doctors anymore, and I am better at meeting deadlines. I even have facial hair. But these things have little to do with true adulthood. That's a title that can only be earned through a journey. A challenging, exhilarating, and sometimes terrifying odyssey of growth and experience. I feel as though my story is reflective of the triumphs and struggles of the graduates standing with me today. Please indulge me as I share a bit of my journey here at Eagle Hill, as it will be similar to the stories of my graduating class. When I first arrived, I was terrified that this school would be the same as all the others. I started Eagle Hill halfway through my freshman year, which meant that I'd be the new kid on the block and likely be socially excluded since I was sure that all those cliques had been formed and that those clubs would be closed out to me. I can tell you one thing, I didn't get much sleep the first night. However, the next day, before I even left my dormitory for breakfast, student after student came up and introduced themselves to me. That morning became a metaphor of what my time at Eagle Hill would be about acceptance, and encouragement. And although I began that first morning with little confidence in myself or in the work that I produced, it would all soon change. Any school could have told me to read the perks of being a wallflower and write an essay on it, or easily tell me the square root of nine is three. But Eagle Hill taught me much more. It taught me to want to know this information, not just memorize things because it's what is expected of me. Eagle Hill did something I considered initially inconceivable. Eagle Hill taught me how to want to learn. This community is more, than a school for, is more than a school. For me, it is the catalyst to making my ideas become a reality. More importantly, however, Eagle Hill has taught me how to make my ideas happen on my own. This is due in huge part to the relationships I've made with my peers, my teachers, and the entire community. Before I came here, I would have never believed so many of the things I've accomplished were even remotely possible. Who could have foreseen a giant eight by 10 foot gumball portrait? I would have never guessed that I'd be doing an RT, running a New York marathon, building a musical instrument out of tubes, getting an A in anatomy, or making honor roll. There's no way I could have pictured myself standing up here today. When I entered Eagle Hill, I had the belief that these types of outrageous dreams could exist only in my head. But now, I know the truth. With help, guidance, encouragement, and tenacity, absolutely anything is possible. So many people have helped me become the person I am today. Mr. Ward taught me to be wisely skeptical and not passively accept ideas without question. Mr. Mr. Gaskell taught me the, the importance of being on time. And Dr. Benheim taught me to look for the underlying meanings of things. Mr. Stone taught me to project myself, while Ms. Linehan taught me a quiet voice can be heard as well. Rich taught me to never stop creating, hello, while Ms. Bach got me hooked on drawing in a sketchbook. Ms. Edison helped me to see the beauty and power of a well-constructed sentence. While well, Mr. Prispect taught me to dislike taking notes a little less than I already did. I would have lost that bet. Ms. Kaplan taught me to never give up. And if I truly want something, I can make it happen. 
Most importantly, Eagle Hill has taught me how to forge my dreams into realities. I'm so proud to say I'm an Eagle Hill graduate. I'm leaving with a sense of confidence and appreciation that would have never been seen in me four years ago. Yes, my Eagle Hill journey to adulthood has been filled with some of the best moments in my life, but it's also been filled with some of the worst. I've never experienced such a strong sense of community as I have this past year. The day my best friend Antoine passed away, every teacher and student put aside their titles and differences and stepped up to be there for one another, simply as grieving human beings. I remember Dr. McDonald holding my hand and repeating to me, I love you, everything's going to be okay. This will stay with me forever. This is what I needed to hear, and a great example of why we as a senior class and as a community made it through. We were there for each other, as we always will be. So, with all that said, I ask myself now, are we really adults? Well, I think we've learned how to make important decisions, we've learned how to actualize our dreams and potential, and we've most definitely learned how to survive terrible grief. Most of all, we've learned how to be grateful for the love of others. Words cannot describe how grateful we are for the love that the adults at Eagle Hill have given to us. We have no gift that can truly repay you what we owe, so instead, we offer you a simple thank you. Two small but heartfelt words lovingly conveyed from one group of adults to another. So on behalf of the graduating class of 2012, I say thank you.